Hey! Welcome to week number two of the 50 and 52 challenge. Fun fact, I thought school started this past Monday, it starts next Monday. That's why I'm all, you know, raggedy man. Some of you got it. And if you remember, this week we read The Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman. Yay! If you haven't read it yet and you want the quick review, if you like sci-fi, mysteries, and not knowing what's going on, if you like sci-fi at all, go read this book. It, it blew my mind. There's parts and points when I had no idea what was going on, but I absolutely loved it. There's not really much I can say in the quick review to uh, not spoil this book for you, so that's it. If you like um, bizarre kind of sci-fi kind of fantasy books, go pick up this today. It's a short read. It's only about 15 chapters and I guarantee you'll love it. Now for those of us that actually read the book, what was going on in this book, guys? Half the time I had no idea what was going on, and then half the time I was like, oh, well, that's okay, because the main character has no idea what's going on, so I'm fine. I think my favorite part about this book is that it's told by a man in his 40s, but at the same time, it's the point of view of a seven-year-old. Still has that innocent, childlike wonder with everything he experiences with the hemp stocks. And I can't really say that I didn't know what was going on, because I did, but at the end of the book, I could honestly say I didn't know what was going on again. And that's the magic of this book. You're reading it, and as you're reading, you're confident in what the boy is telling you, and towards the end, that all gets flipped on its head. Old Lady Hempstock tells our main character that you can't have two people together and have them remember the same thing. It just doesn't happen. But ultimately what this book is about is a child and how he looks up at adults and how he thinks they know things that he doesn't when really he just comes to understand that everyone figures it out as they go and no single adult has all the answers. Except for the ocean. You see what they did there? Overall, this book was a blast to read, and during it, I could just feel myself wanting more as I knew I was coming closer and closer to the end. We didn't do ratings last week, but I'm gonna try to start incorporating. Uh, so, The Ocean at the End of the Lane, uh, four out of five. Quick read, I wish there was more there, but I am uh, certainly not disappointed with what was there. But I wanna know what you guys thought. Did you like the book? Did you hate it? Did you not understand it? Did you kind of understand it? Are you in the same boat as me and really confused right now and are gonna go back and read it eventually? Tell me where you're at in the comments down below. And like I said this week, short read, short video. But as always, if you want to follow me on Twitter, it's at Hawkillies. If you want to follow Spencer, at Snowball. For all the latest updates, follow us on Tumblr at readingfordays.tumblr.com. And next week we will be reading George Orwell's classic, 1984. George Orwell's dystopian tale, 1984, is set in a society terrorized by a totalitarian ideology propagated by the party. You might have heard about this book recently a lot with cell phones, Xboxes, cameras, everything is watching you. Everything now is almost always on, so I thought this was a good book to read in uh, this day and age. And if you've read it before, read it with us again. If you want to follow along with Spencer this week, her book is Pure by Rebecca Ray. Once again guys, hashtags, tumblers, twitters, subscribe favorite, like, comment, we love to hear from you, and we're motivated knowing that you are reading with us. So tell us what you think, comment, tweet me, give us book suggestions, the calendar is still not filled up yet. Thanks for watching guys, have a great week, until next time, read on.